that looks amazing. This is still going up. Yeah, That's pretty incredible. Doesn't it feel like there's much change in color on these uh, spires? Yeah, there's a, there's one a little chimlet. Chimlet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Holy! This is yeah. Are we at Godzilla yet? Really cool. Yeah, we yeah, think this is Godzilla. Godzilla. It's just like must be super. It's great. Thank like you. Steady stream and really powerful because it's just like ejecting out. So it's not a dribble. It's right. like just like bubbling out of the center like a... part is going really fast. Yeah. 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 I want. I'm excited to see where this other thing goes. Yeah, we still can't see it in 180. Actually, it's still. Yeah. Still we come just like a little bit out. How uh, how easy right. is Perfect. it to get the uh, temperature probe out? It's easy to well, get it out. <laughs> just can't ever put it back. Yeah, we don't want to do that till after our. our multi though, right? Let's do another, maybe another 20 meter move. Yeah. We're gonna keep rising up. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. That's a big one. That's a lot of big ones. Yeah, that's a that's big step, uh, nothing. There's a smoker. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's so cool. It's like the tiniest little smoking vent. Wow, it just keeps going in the back. Wow. You can zoom in there on the scale worm. Yeah, that looks like a nice little flange pool. Take a picture. Oh. Underneath the cliff, you see it shimmering in the top right. Okay. Well, it's pretty cool. There's no doubt about it. It's like... Wow. What a pretty scale worm. Mm -hmm. This is like a real nature documentary. Come closer, bud. You're so pretty. Those are really beautiful scales. Yeah, that's quite the color. Just yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Slowly go wide on monkey bars. Maybe get some uh, focus action too, and then we'll get out of here. <clears throat> Although it looks pretty good. Looks like there's another one to the right. Yeah, yeah right there's, here. there's one right there. Park place, eh? I think. So. I mean, it lines up on high pack. Yeah. So then this would be park place. Okay. Looks right. like a pretty wide mouth to get yeah. a tempo. Because look at how fast this is blowing out of here. Right. I think that's really hot in there. This like tornado effect is so cool. Temperatures reading 50 degrees, 50 degrees Celsius. So you can see the bent fluid deflecting around the probe now. 140. So they got 140 on the probe by just putting it here and not touching. <laughs> oh yeah, like look at this little like. Go uh, there. Yeah, that arch there. Yeah. Oh man, I wish Hercules could fit in there. We could switch Start through. Start your timer. Yeah, go for it. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, this wow. is amazing. Her could totally fit through there. Yeah. Full beans. <laughs> oh my god, are we doing it? I was joking, I won't quit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A hobbit hole? Hobbit hole, yeah, definitely. Mermaid lair, that's where Ursula lives. But we have flown through and under some of the uh, arches. The danger is as they collapse. So you can see the kind of the crusty layer on the top there. So at one point, that was everywhere, and then it, it's all fallen down. Mm. They use these really cool arches. That looks like a doorway in a column. That, I was just thinking <laughs> the same thing. This is like a set for an underwater movie or it something. It really is. You ever play uh, Legend of Zelda? Yes. You can <laughs> move faster back around the other side, Jake. Wow. Maximum coverage while, before the boat pulls you. That is so wild. The backwards flange pull. I've never seen that before. That's a pretty cool feature right there. Like it grew up this little arm here, and then, and then it, yeah, it grew another. It grew a flange pull and board. Or is it coming from the other side? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It could be a bridge pull. A bridge pull. That's a new one. Hey, Steve, is that what they call phase separation? There, that weird kind of. It looks like it's on fire. Um, I, is that I a think legit term? Phase separation is, is basically happens in where the fluid has traveled through. So I think what it means is that under these high pressures and high temperatures, you're, you, you can separate between a, a brine type solution, you know, a fluid and a gas phase, a vapor phase. Now, they're both fluids, but still what happens is that 
different chemical species reside there. So you have a brine type fluid and a vapor type fluid. That's my understanding of it. So it's because your phase diagram for fluids and solids and gases is, is different when the temperature goes really high and the pressure goes really high. That's my understanding, and I'll, I'll now caveat that with that I'm a physical oceanographer, basically grade 12 chemistry. Look at that interesting creature. I think he's still breathing. How's it work? I was just wondering that myself. He looks, he looks a little... surprised that he's up there. Fuzzy. So, because he, they love, they really do love. It's ridiculous how much they love tube worms. But he's all covered in bacterial mat. Is he so still he's, alive? He's trying to get up there to get those juicy tube worms and he has failed and croaked. Or so, maybe he's okay. Because I don't understand why they can't can't just eat those tube worms right now, but they're video. because it's too hot. I don't know, this guy could be alive. Or maybe this I'll is the way they, they learn not seconds. to go up here. They go up here and then suddenly they turn into there's a lot of food on him right now. I think he is food. Yeah, he doesn't look so healthy. It's bacterial Matthew. Bacterial Matthew? That's his name. Yeah, is this Brandy like will a... be here all... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, just, watch. I just got started, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a little bit Monty Python. He's not dead, he's just... sleeping. Just feeding his bacteria. <laughs> it's really cool. 